Now we cross the border into Austria, to the town that to me always feels like Christmas, Salzburg. With its old town gathered under its formidable castle, Salzburg celebrates the holidays with an alpine elegance. Christmassy shopping lanes delight browsers. Markets are busy as shoppers gather last-minute holiday decorations and perhaps a fresh sprig of mistletoe. These Tyrolians celebrate the season in noisier fashions as well. From the castle ramparts high above town, traditional gunners fire away as they have since the days when they really believed these shots would scare away evil spirits. Salzburg, nicknamed the Rome of the North, has a magnificent cathedral, inspired by St. Peter's at the Vatican. Locals here in the town of Mozart pack the place to mix worship with glorious music. It was here, in the region of Salzburg, that the most loved carol of the Christmas season, Silent Night, was sung for the first time, nearly 200 years ago. According to legend, a local priest went out one Christmas night to bless a newborn baby. As he walked home in the snow, he was so moved by the stillness of the starlit and holy night that he wrote a poem about it. He gave the poem to Franz Gruber, the organist in his church, who composed a simple tune. On Christmas Eve, 1818, the carol was sung for the first time, accompanied only by a guitar. Austria is one of Europe's more traditional corners. Its strong Catholicism and a love of heritage shine especially brightly at Christmas time in the countryside. We're visiting the Weissacher family farm. A typically Tyrolean Christmas yodel offers us the warmest of welcomes. Sehr schön, danke. Frohe Weihnachten. Come to rein, bitte. Okay. This family happily shares its love of the season with a guest. Like just about anywhere, part of Christmas is making cookies with Grandma. More unique to Austria is this ritual in which the dad blesses the home with incense as his daughter follows with holy water. The prayer is for a healthy and happy new year. Maria teaches her daughters how the Advent wreath marks the four weeks of Advent, the season of preparation leading to the advent, or arrival, of Jesus. Ancient peoples were the first wreath makers. For Christians, that evergreen circle came to symbolize everlasting life. The candles, one for each week, reminded them that the birth of their Savior was approaching. Austrians lovingly decorate their tree, but keep it secret and hidden from the children until December 24th arrives. 
We'll check back a little later to see what Christmas brings. Hello.